next tutorial is on Google Slides. Google Slides is another tool by Google for making presentations. This tool is available for absolutely no cost and you can start using it with your existing Gmail ID. Teachers can use Google Slides for creating their lesson plan as it is not only easy to create but also to share with their students and other audiences. Now, you have two options to use Google Slide. The first one is you download the application from the Play Store. Second one, if you don't want to download the application, you can simply use it from your browser with the address slides.google.com. Both of these work very well, but if you're using Google Slides on a regular basis, then I will recommend you to download the app. In this tutorial, you will see me working with the mobile application on Google Slides. Once again, the features in both are nearly the same. So let's just start with creating a presentation. Now, you can choose a blank presentation or one of the given templates. As you can see on the bottom right corner, there's a plus sign. You're gonna click that to either choose a template or to start a new presentation. If I will choose a template, I will get a list of templates that have been created by Google Slides for making our presentation easy. These are the different options given to you. As a teacher, you can choose the first one that is the lesson plan. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to work with a blank presentation. So I'm going to click the new presentation. And here we have a brand new slide with no templates or themes put. So we will begin with first giving a title to our presentation. For giving, us the, for giving the title to this presentation, you need to click the three dots on the top right corner and you will see an untitled presentation. That's where we're going to go and put a title to our presentation. This will save our presentation with the given name. Now, what you can see in front of you is the opening slide. Here is where you're going to add the title and the subtitle. To add the title, you need to double tap on the add title text box. Here we have added our title and subtitle to our first slide, the opening slide. Now we are going to add further slides. To do this, we will have to click the plus sign on the bottom right corner. This will show us a different, this will show us different layouts or types of slides that are available for us to choose from. You, as you can see, there is a title slide, that's our opening slide, the first one. The second one is the section header. You have title and body, title and two columns, title only, one column text, main point, section title and description, caption, big number, and just a blank slide. If you need to section your presentation, that is if you have different topics that you're, uh, that you're teaching on the same day, then you're going to use the section header title to separate your presentations. Right now, I'm just going to go with the simple title and body. This is one of the most commonly used layouts. I'm going to add the heading or the title solar system. And here is where again, I'm going to double tap to add text. Now I'll show you how to work with the text. So once we have our text ready, you're going to just select the text you want to work with. And you can see on the top panel in the center, there is a A icon. So we'll click that A icon. 
here is there are different options we will have for our text you can either bold it or underline it you can change the font style to whatever you wish to you can also change the color and the size you can try different options on the basis of what works best for your presentation now i'll go back to taking you to adding a slide here you can use title and two columns for making a comparison when you're teaching how to compare so you can say compare the features you can make this earth you can make this mars and you can add bullet points So this is how you create a comparison slide. Now I'll show you another feature that is how to add images to your slides. So once again, I'm going to choose a blank slide. I'm going to add a title. So I'll double tap to add the title. And I'm going to select an image. How I can choose an image is again in the top panel, you can see a plus sign. I'm going to click that. And you can see that you can add a list of things to this. You can add a text box, an image, a shape, line, or a table. Here I'm going to teach you how to put an image. So it will give you an option to choose an image from the photographs that you already have or to click a new image from your camera. So here I have my image. To enlarge it, all I'm going to do move it and place it right at the center so that's how you add an image once you have your presentation ready the next step is to save your presentation or to share your presentation now to save your presentation once again you'll need to click on the three dots on the top right corner you will see an ex you'll see an option of share and export we will click that here you can either share the presentation directly with people via their email addresses or i'll go back to save as i can save it as a powerpoint presentation as a pdf document or any of the options given below so let's save it as a pdf document Now your PDF document is ready to be shared with your students. I'll go back to the slide. If I don't want to make it a PDF uh, document and I want to share the slide with my students, I can simply once again go to share and export and I can copy the link to the slide and I can paste it on my WhatsApp groups or any other mode of communication that you're using with your students. That's all for this tutorial. If you have further questions or need assistance, please leave us your comments in the comment section and we will try to help and answer as many questions as we can. Thank you for watching.